there you are. Did you see Master Jean? I saw her, but purposely avoided her. As both the Lion Fang Knight and acting Grand Master, she naturally would have some reservations towards me. If I'm not careful, one day I may find myself becoming the object of one of her investigations. But back to the matter at hand. I defeated some of the Abyss forces, but wasn't able to gather any information. Did you have more success? I see. Well then, we can more or less figure out where the first field tiller ended up. Huh? Really? Just from the Lupus Boreas story? That information combined with a more comprehensive analysis. For example, the old story you told me you heard in the cathedral. Exactly. The strange story told to you by that young sister. Long mistaken to be a curse rained down by a deceased tyrant. Ah, Paimon gets it. So the tyrant's final fury was really just missiles fired from the field tiller after it ran from Wolvendom. After it was damaged in the fight with the wolf of the north, it must have wandered into the ruins of old Mondstadt and stayed there. Then, whenever anyone got close, Pew! Boom! It would fire a ton of missiles at them. Until one day, it finally broke down for good, and the fireball stopped raining from the sky. Back then, the people of Mondstadt hadn't seen many ruin guards before, so they came to interpret it as the Tyrant's Final Fury. It looks like we need to make a trip to Storm Terror's lair and comb the entire area. Hmm, what do you mean? Something like that. This requires another method. Using elemental sight on a field tiller is of no use because it is not powered by the elements. Let me give it a try. And done. The very thing the Abyss Herald has been seeking all along. The Eye of the First Field Tiller. All of the Ruin Guards today are just replicas of this machine. As the prototype, its combat capability was unrestricted. Prototype? Oh, Paimon doesn't know that word. Is it another ancient term from Conria? As the Abyss Order has surmised, if this Eye is placed in the hands of the defiled statue, and if the limbs of Osile, overlord of the Vortex, are attached to the statue, there you have a mechanized god. And this newly born god will have the power to topple the divine thrones of Celestia. Yes. Then, what should we do with this eye? No. 
I'll guard it myself. Huh? You? Uh, Dane? Hmm. You won't go and do anything crazy with it, will you? You may doubt me if you wish, but I must ensure it does not fall into the wrong hands. No matter where we may hide it, they will find it. And as for the Church of Favonius, well, you know I don't trust them. Oh, <laughs> right. But our work isn't done yet. To avoid any further repercussions, we must also take care of that defiled statue. We can't have the Church get involved. Let's handle it ourselves. As for what I mean by take care of it, naturally I mean to completely destroy it. Destroy it? That's a statue of the Seven! As well as being a really important cultural relic, they're actually divine too! Oh, well, good thing we didn't tell Barbara earlier. Otherwise she'd be going completely bonkers right now! <laughs> Do the Seven really expect me to help them look after what belongs to them? Let's go back to those ruins and destroy the inverted statue. If we are lucky, we will also run into that Abyss Herald. I'll make sure it doesn't get away this time. Ah, my apologies. This heavy rain must be quite an inconvenience for you. So after all that running around, we end up right back here again. Look at us. We barely escaped this place last time, and now we're strolling right back in. Gee, surely we must be some of the bravest adventurers in all of Tavat. That are the stupidest. To get to that creepy statue, we just need to follow the path we used to escape last time. That should take us right to it. Yep, that'll work. Let's Go, and remember to be on your guard.
Looks like we're here. An eerie, lifeless, dark chamber. I understand the evil aura you were describing earlier. Oh, such a scary place! Be careful to not be overwhelmed by the power of the defiled statue. The Abyss Herald. It's here. <laughs> You sense correctly. You are just as vexatious as ever, Danesmith, enemy of the Abyss. I sense your soul is stained by terrible bloodshed. Perhaps from your darkest nightmares. Unless... <laughs> oh... And something far more dangerous. You reek of a corruption familiar to me. Then we are the same. We're both dangerous. But dangers from outside of the Abyss Order must be caught and caged. It is your words that forever reek of corruption. Time to silence you! Bow before the abyss! Huh? Hit! Why? Ah! the Help! Settle down! Abyss of roar! Got lucky that time. Hi! Nice and spicy! Bow your head! Decimate! No way! Incoming! Let the mighty be humble! An oversight on my part! With sword comes shadow. Don't blink. Fall in the Don't touch me. Sanctified. Decimate! Light. Huh? Yeah. The 
world. with Dane. Team up with this man. He is my enemy. Ether. <laughs> but it must be said. Don't try to stop me. Don't try to stop the abyss. That man Dainsliff was the Twilight Sword. One of the royal guards of the final dynasty of Conria. 500 years ago, he failed to prevent the destruction of Conria. A curse of immortality was laid upon him, to forever wander the wilderness, while he watched the people he was supposed to protect turn into the monsters of the abyss. You're saying Dane is from Conria? The same Conria that was destroyed 500 years ago? And you said the people turned into monsters? You're trying to tell Paimon that the Abyss Order is not only related to Conria, but is actually the people of Conria themselves? Uh, and the whole thing about Dane being your enemy... Oh, uh, Paimon's so confused. Um... Yes, of course. Home is wherever we are together. But I cannot go with you to the next world to find a new home. At least, not yet. Until the Abyss has engulfed the thrones, my war with destiny will see no end. Listen to me, Lumine. I have already traveled through this world once. Once you reach the end of your journey as I did, you will see for yourself the true nature of this world. So we'll meet again. Though we need not rush, sister. I have more than enough time to wait for you. We have always had enough time. Prince. 
It seems like your brother is leading the Abyss Order. Even the Abyss Herald answers to him. Still, we don't know for sure if he's the highest ranking leader in the organization. Also, your brother said that he wants to engulf the thrones and go to war with destiny. What the heck does that mean? Could it be he wants to destroy the Seven and the Seven Nations? Next thing, turns out the Abyss Order monsters are really what the people of Conria turned into after their nation was destroyed. This story is just plain terrifying. And Dave is from Conria too. He witnessed its destruction 500 years ago. But he didn't turn into a monster. And now he's fighting the Abyss Order. So that's why your brother said that Dane is his enemy, right? But if the monsters of the Abyss are the same people that Dane protected all those years ago, then why is he enemies with the Abyss Order now? Also, how come after all this time we've spent searching for your brother, it turns out he's on the side of the Abyss? What's up with that? Yeah, you're right. Then we can't let ourselves get down about it now. Our journey's not over yet. Let's get a move on. Time to leave this terrible dark place and get back to the surface where the sun shines bright. If your brother wants you to reach the end of your journey, show him what you're made of. Come on, traveler. Let's go.